Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I made a portrait retouching tutorial, so in today's video, I'll show you a very easy and quick way to edit portraits. And I will be using the Photoshop plugin called Retouch Pro. Please note that this is how I edit my images. I understand that there are other variations or methods to edit portraits, using different tools and techniques, but for quick and easy edits that you will only be posting on social media, I firmly believe this is adequate. And I still believe that editing in Photoshop is still the best way to edit portraits, instead of using those filters from mobile apps, as they can look really fake and unnatural. Okay, so with that being said, let's get started. So let's open up this image right here. So the first thing we need to do is remove acne and other skin blemishes. Click on the add blank layer down here. Select the spot healing brush tool. We zoom in on the image. And we just click on the spot that we want to remove, like so. Let me just go ahead and fast forward this step. Okay, I think we're done. This is before. This is after. Next, we press Ctrl Alt Shift and the letter E to create a merged visible layer. Then we open the Retouch Pro panel and click on Frequency Separation 16 bit. Then we expand this layer. Hide the high layer. Select the low layer. And then go to Filter. Convert for Smart Filters. Then go back to Filter. Blur. Surface Blur and move the radius and threshold values to a point that the skin colors blend well, yet still retain details on the edges. A good starting point is to set the radius to around 60, and the threshold to around 30. Next, we need to unhide the high layer. And as you can see, the effect is too much and looks weird. So we click on this mask right here, and then hold the control key and press the letter I to invert the mask. Then select the brush tool, make sure that the foreground color is set to white, and then we start painting on the skin. Try to avoid painting on the eyebrows, eyes, lips, as well as the edges of the nose to retain the details. Face and skin retouching requires a lot of practice and trial and error. Just make sure not to overdo it. Alright, that should do it. This is before. After. Now to check what we have painted. Select the mask. Hold the Alt key. And click on the mask. Then paint white on the areas that we've missed. Then to go back. Select the mask. Hold the Alt key. And click on the mask. Let's now double check our progress so far. Okay, looking good. Let's also apply skin smoothing to her neck and shoulders to have consistency. Just paint white over it. Let's also do it on her fingers. Alright, this is perfect. Let's now decrease the opacity of the skin smoothing effect to about 75. And let's zoom in to check our work. This is before. And this is after. Before. After. We can actually stop right here, but there are other tools in Retouch Pro Panel that we can use to enhance this image even more. What I usually do after skin retouching is enhance the eyes. So let's create another merged visible layer. Open Retouch Pro Panel. Go to the Eye section. And click on Iris Function. Then using the white brush, we paint on it. Let's decrease the opacity to about 85%. Then we go back to Retouch Pro Panel and select Whiten. Then we brush on the white part of the eyes. And decrease the opacity. Lastly, we go back to the eyes section and this time select Remove Veins. And again, we paint. Let's decrease the opacity as well. 
Alright, that's about it on enhancing the eyes. Let's group all the eye enhancements. This is before. This is after. Let's zoom out so we can see it better. Before. After. Now her eyes look much livelier don't you think? Let's also group the skin retouching. And for organizational purposes, let's rename the layers. Let's have a final look on the edits that we've made. Here is the skin retouching. And here is the eye enhancement. It looks amazing right? We can continue on editing the lips and other facial enhancements, but I think we'll stop here for now. I will link my other Retouch Pro tutorials in the video description, if you want to see more tutorials. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications. I'll see you in my next video, thank you for watching.